Last week, you took a look at the video by Maddie and Dada on Paul Clay. Today, I'd like you to think back to some of those things that we looked at that were realistic and abstract. We looked at how we could change an eye, a nose, a mouth, maybe some ears. You can also add other features like hair. You can put a hat. You can make a neck and shoulders because we're making an abstract portrait today. The portrait, a lot of times, will be the head, neck, and the shoulders. In the top third of the paper, you're going to choose a couple different abstract shaped eyes. The crazier, the better. Now choose a shape that you decided that you liked for the nose. Think back to those crazy shapes for the nose and the mouth you used last week. You can also add some ears, some hair, and any features that you think that your character should have. To separate this even more, we are going to add some lines going through our page. Look for any of the big spaces and just add a zigzag, straight line, or loop-de-loop -loop line wherever you'd like. With the remainder of your art time, take those crayons, color pencils, and markers. Don't make those colors jealous. Make sure you use lots of color. Fill in those shapes that you created with all of your lines and abstract facial features. Make sure to share your artwork with your teacher.